Hey guys, Gino D'Souza here for Live and Lean. Got another post-workout stretching sequence for you all to help you all cool down and recover after the strenuous workout. This one is going to be spending a little bit more time on the spine and the hips. So let's get to it. Uh, you can follow me through the exercises. Take it at your own um, level. So if you've not done stretching or you're finding any discomfort, please take it easy, take it slow, uh, be cautious about it. And then as your body starts adapting a little bit more, you can push yourself a little bit more. Let's get to the stretching sequence, guys. So for the first one today, we're gonna to be seated in a butterfly position, which is basically feet together, right? And you wanna try and bring the feet as close to your body as you can, right? So if it's difficult for you to really pull the legs in close, then keep it a little bit out, that's not a problem, okay? So this is just to open up the hips guys, you can use your hands on your feet and use your elbows to just push the hips down all the way to the floor so you want the knees to be almost touching the ground, if they touch the ground, that is great flexibility. So you can also just shake the legs a little bit. If you want to target the hips a little bit more as well from this position, you can try and bend forward. So this will go pretty deep. If you're on your elbows, that's fine. If you can go all the way down, that's super flexible. But in an attempt to go down, don't hunch over. Keep the chest up and then try and come down. Alright guys, we're moving from there onto our backs. You're going to hug your knees to your chest, both knees to your chest this side, so just pull down, keep the feet flexed, breathe in and breathe out. Spend at least four or five breaths in this position. Now what I want you to do now is lift the legs slightly up and now we're going to try and bend the knees and bring them down to the side. So ideally you want your knees to be touching the floor around your chest or your ribcage, that's where it should be. But like I said, do it at your own level. If you've not done this before, don't push the stretch. Try and breathe into it, so ease yourself into going lower. Now from this position, try and grab your toes and straighten the legs. So now we're going to stretch the hamstrings. Straighten as much as you can. If, they don't, if your knees don't straighten all the way, that's fine. Good. Bring it back in. And come up to a seated position. So just shake the legs off a little bit. From here what we're going to do is lie back again and we're going to try and open the hips up a little bit. So lift your left leg up, right bent knee, grab your left ankle with your right hand and use your left hand to cradle your knee so we're supporting it. Right? And from here, there's like a rocking movement. Just focus on breathing and pushing the knee and the hip while pulling with your hand. That's good. Take it down. Do the same thing with the other side. So cradle the right knee with your right hand, pull your right ankle with your left hand and just rock from side to side. If your hips are really open, you can even try and bring your ankle to your head 
Okay, to get over. So that means you have excellent hip mobility. Don't worry if it's difficult, just keep rocking. That's good, guys. That nice. Nice opener for the hips. Next, what we're going to do is a little bit of a spinal twist. For so that, lie back again on your, on your backs. Have your hands just out, outstretched about shoulder level. Lift the knees off the floor and then just drop them down as close to your hand as you can. While you do this, try and make sure that your shoulders are both touching the mat. So one shoulder will not lift off. Come up slowly, do the same thing on the other side. The higher you can take your knees, the more you'll get a twist in the spine. But as always, do it at your own capacity. Whichever side your knees drop, turn your head to the other side. Come back up. We're going to do the same kind of a spinal twist again, but this time a little bit deeper. So take your left foot on top of your right leg and then drop to the side. Now this one you can even use your right hand to pull the knee down to get a deeper stretch. But make sure that your left shoulder doesn't lift off the mat. Do the same thing on the other side. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Focus on just breathing deep. Doesn't matter how far you go on the stretch. Nice work everyone. Last twist for this sequence. So what you want to do in this position is to take your right leg over your left. So taking it across the knee. Take your right hand behind you. Your spine should still be as straight as possible so you don't want to be leaning back, okay? From here, cross your left hand over the right knee and then try, if you can, to reach your shin and twist. Or you can just keep your hand up and then twist as much as you can. Try to be as upright as possible. a good twist and then we do the other side so the left foot comes over the right knee take your left hand back and then twist Nice work guys, so another quick 10 minute stretching routine or sequence that you can do post your workout just to help you cool down, just to help you get your muscles to relax and elongate after the kind of contraction work that it was doing during exercise. If you like our stretching videos guys, do give it a thumbs up. I will see you guys very soon. Until then, stay strong, stay flexible, stay safe and keep training.